In this week's Thirsty Thursday video, we are going to make a fig martini. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. I'm Mark, and in today's video, we are going to make quite a different cocktail, the fig martini. Well, I think it's different anyway. I was at the liquor store, and I came across black fig vodka. And I thought, what in the world? is black fig vodka and is there anything I can make with it and I was surprised to find that there were several martinis and cocktails that I found online that could be made with the black fig vodka so for this one the fig martini we're going to use an addition to the black fig vodka boy try saying that five times fast we're gonna use triple sec we're going to use fresh squeezed lime juice, and apple juice. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So let's get started. We're gonna start with, I guess we can start with anything we want, but let's start with the lime juice. And if you live in Southwest Florida, oh, you can get these fresh limes. The problem is the juice it's um it's not reliable from lime to lime typically i can get an ounce out of one lime every now and then you'll get a real dry lime so let's see what we can do with this one this one is a pretty good looking lime yep out of that half i got about a half an ounce so i i'll get my my full ounce oh, there we go so I got my full ounce out of one lime. Um, a good, fresh Florida lime. In it goes. Now, we're also going to want to garnish this. And you can garnish it with a number of things. You can, of course, garnish it with a fig if you'd like. But you can also garnish it with a lime. So since we have a couple of these delicious fresh tasty limes we are going to cut ourselves a slice boy when i cut this my whole bar shakes this isn't a really big bar and as a result uh every little thing affects it all right so there we go so i've got my garnish ready to go and now i can just push all of that off to the side until we need it later so let's continue. So far we have in here one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Next up, and by the way, I have this chilled martini glass. Oh, that's gonna be so good. So next up, let's go with the booze. You can take it in any order. You know, traditional thinking says that you add the alcohol last. That way if you mess up, you're not messing up with the good stuff. However, this is going to be a really hard recipe to mess up because it's so simple. One ounce of lime to two ounces of black fig or two parts, whatever you'd like. It could have been, you know, a shot, which is an ounce and a half. And we're gonna have two ounces of triple sec. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, wow, that's a lot of triple sec. But you also have to remember now we just put one whole ounce of lime juice in there. So that would be tart if we didn't add a little something to cut that. And we're still maintaining the citrus. But now we're going to put two ounces of the apple juice. And we shake it up. It does get cold. You know, I always do the, whoo, it's so cold, but <laughs> it is, it's really cold. I think that this is, we just put in seven ounces. I think that's going to be bigger than my martini glass. That's all right. We can save a little and have the second part of my drink, so. There we go. And we're going to garnish it 
at our slice of lime. And what a great looking cocktail. I'm gonna quick snap a picture of this and then we'll be right back. All right, the business is done. So let's give this a taste. So you can see the color first of all. Um, it really took on the color of that apple juice. But I don't know if you saw, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of this black vodka into the glass because we did, we kind of poured it away quickly, but you can see this vodka really has a dark, dark color. I don't know how well you can see that. Well, I'll just pour a bunch, I'll pour it back in the bottle. No big deal. But you can see how dark that is. It almost looks like a really dark uh, cup of coffee is what it looks like. So uh, this is very, very dark. And uh, so you mix that with the triple sec. I, I would imagine they kind of balance each other and give it that apple color. And, oh boy. Of course you're tasting or smelling a lot of citrus. I have lime juice in here. I have the triple sec, but also I have a lime for garnish. So that's picking that up as well. Oh, that is really good. Hmm. I don't know um, exactly where the lime or the fig comes in, but I can certainly taste the lime. I can certainly taste the triple sec, and I'm getting some of that apple as well. Yeah, that blends together extraordinarily well. I think we made a really good choice for this week, boy, this is like the um, the bottomless shaker of cocktail tonight. But it's not a whole lot, it's not real heavy with alcohol. It's only got two ounces and it's a seven ounce total cocktail. So um, it does have some triple sec, but um, the majority of the alcohol is coming from the vodka. And as you know, vodka tends to pick up whatever it's mixed with. But this is a flavored vodka to start with. So I guess that, um, I, I don't know. Um, I would have to taste the vodka by itself to see exactly how much flavor it's adding. But this is a good cocktail. You know what I'm inclined to do? I'm inclined to mix it with just plain vodka and see exactly how much of the fig we're picking up and how much that adds to the cocktail. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. This is a good drink. I hope you give it a try. It's such an easy recipe to remember. It's just two to two to two to one of lime juice and you're done. Shake it, pour it, drink it. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. I hope I see you back here next week, Thursday. Who knows what we have in store? But we are going to have to exhaust this bottle of fig vodka. Maybe we'll try something again next week. I don't know. You'll have to come back and see. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel.